Tis a fair day for sailing. You there, audience! Howl with me so we can set the Sansies ablaze with fear! <gasps> little, 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 I don't know. <laughs> okay. Anyways, uh, hi guys. Uh, welcome back to Skyward Sword, I guess. Uh, last time we rescued the crew from the brig and, uh, got a key to the control room. So, today we're going to that control room. And I'm actually using a different Wiimote this time around. I'm actually using the Wii Remote with the actual Wii Motion Plus attachment inside it, so... I'm guessing my movement can get kind of awkward at times, but hey. But hey, at least I'm using a different Wiimote. And I got different batteries for it, so technically that should mean something, right? Right? I don't know, but yeah. Anyway, inside we go, and I do believe we have to keep the ship in in the uh, past, I think, in order to get past this area. At least I think. No. Okay. Then we. Then I guess we had. No wait. This is actually in the future. Okay. Oh no! Wait, no, it's in the past. It's in the past. So we actually have to make it into the future in order to get past that area. Jeez. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and your thing, you can go suck it. Alright. So, let's do this! And then... Back to the future. Anyway. Now we can go inside that area. Because there are electrical gates surrounding it. Apparently. So, let's do this. Oh, yeah. Run in, run in, run in. Ooh. I have to do this, because it's a thing. And, ooh, that was a red rupee. Okay, that's cool. And another red rupee, I guess. Yeah, it is. Cool. Jeez. Getting monies all the time is apparently good for whatever reason. And killing these scorpions is pretty fun, too. Yeah, or these ar arcas, I don't know. Arakas. Yeah, that's what they were called. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, that's the thing, though. You have to pronounce them correctly because otherwise they will. Because otherwise, Zelda fanboys will be raging on your butt for eternity. Because that's why you have to respect the authority of the uh, Zelda fanboys. Because otherwise, they will get on your butts for not knowing the proper names of them. I don't know. Maybe that's not true for all. For all, like. Maybe it's for hardcore fanboys, I don't know, but I'm not really talking about fanboys, am I? I need to be talking about the game. Yeah. That's what I gotta do. I don't know, I- you can get off topic in a Let's Play, you can. Sometimes you can go for an- like, sometimes you can go for a random talk topic for like, minutes and minutes upon end. Like I'm doing right now, but it's not- but like- I don't know, maybe maybe you like going off topic, maybe somebody else goes up on topic, I don't know. The point is that we can get off topic. And that's all that matters. And by the way, these BMOs are really annoying. This room can get really annoying because there are three BMOs here wanting to kill you. Because they because they're jerks when they were designing this, the game the temple designers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And you die. And thank goodness there was not a lock on the door because it's 11 11 p.m. right now. And this is being recorded as the same day as the previous two parts. Okay. And we get the squid thingamabob. I don't know what it is. The text is too bright. It's a squid shaped statue studded with intriguing suction cups. Okay, so it's a squid key. Master, I conjecture that this, this is the key to the control room mentioned by the crew. My memory indicates that the location of the door to the control room is marked with the X symbol. Alright, so what do you suggest we do? I suggest you make room... There, okay. We make our way. Dyslexia. Of course. Is it okay for dyslexics to play... To to let's play because 
I don't know. I'm doing the best I can to talk normally, but apparently I cannot. These can go to die for all I care. And you can give me arrows, too. That's awfully nice. And, uh... Stuff. I mean, honestly, I'm doing the best I can to try to talk normal, but... Apparently, my words fail me at times. But then again... People like to talk different. That's all. That's pretty much all there is to it. I guess. Anyway, making our way back to the control room that we saw earlier. Like, at the beginning of the dungeon. So, yay, 20 arrows, okay. And, of course, we're gonna need them for the boss ahead. And stuff. Because, as we all know, there is a boss at the end of every Zelda dungeon, of course. And, of course, they didn't have to design it all poorly, like like Castlevania 2 did, with, with no bosses at the end of each mansion, of course. Yeah, I gotta try out that game sometime. Many people think it's not as bad, but Castlevania fans think, like, it's inferior because it's different or something. I don't know. Anyway, I just want to kill this Beemos just for the heck of it. Just for the heck of it. Revenge! Revenge! Ha ha ha! Okay. So. Anyway. Now let's put in the squid key. But as you can see, this really isn't that bad, and watch me fail instantly on Q. <laughs> yeah. You're supposed to put it in the shape of the squid. And that's not the shape of the squid. In fact, oh, reset position. Yeah, reset it. Uh, <laughs> sorry if this may take a while, but it... I, I'm telling you, this is... This isn't really that bad of a thing, but I'm making it harder than it actually is. Oh, there we go. You just have to turn it all the way around. By resetting the position with C. I don't know. You know what? I never noticed that before. I never noticed, like, the big lock thing is, like, the helm of a ship. I seriously never thought of that before. And wow, that's one pathetic boss room, I had to admit. Jeez. Oh, Jesus, what the heck? Oh, Jesus, what the heck is this? What the heck is this shit? Aw, oh, man. Tentacles? What the heck is this? Hmm. Anyways, you can't really go around here, so you might as well just go back out. Yeah. As you can probably tell right now, this is not your average everyday Zelda boss. Ooh. Tentacles, jeez. Our report master, judging by the size, these tentacles belong to a monster of considerable size. The current situation is difficult to determine with complete accuracy, but signs indicate that the ship is under attack. If we do any, if we do nothing, there is an 80% chance that the ship will capsize. I recommend forcing it back with sacred power, then exiting to further assess the current situation. All right, so we got to beat it back with Skyward Strikes. Basically, by is what he, she's trying to say. He, she, it. I don't really care. Besides the point, ow. Barrels. Yeah, you want to watch out for the barrels, too. Because they'll barrel roll you to death. But not in that way. <laughs> nah. It's nothing like that at all. It's... It's nothing like the good old Star Fox 64 thing at all. Which in Japanese is actually roll, not actually barrel rolling. Because barrel rolling is you, like, rolling on your sides. Yeah. But technically, Star Fox Assault got it correct, but, so, yeah. Anyway, you can choose to go around these tentacles, but personally, just, just cut them off with Skyward Strikes to make your life a bit easier. Yeah. I do believe you can go around the tentacles if I do remember correctly, but I, I don't really remember. Anyway, the water will be rising, so what the heck do you do? And the bird statue isn't there anymore! What the heck? What the heck is this nonsense? Warning, Master. Warning. Mega Man boss approaching. I sense an evil presence on the other side of the store. There's a 90% chance it is the primary body mass of the creature whose tentacles are destroying the ship. 
I suggest making all necessary preparations before exiting to the outside of the ship. What are you talking about? There's nothing here! Okay, so I guess we better go outside then to see what's up. Abyssal Leviathan, Celia! I mean, Tentalus. Yeah, seriously, this this boss really does look like either a Pokemon or Celia from Monsters Inc. Seriously, <laughs> I just had to get that joke out of the way. Anyway, uh, this boss is actually pretty simple, really. Basically, just Skyward Strike the tentacles out of the way. And you have to hit them a certain amount of times before Tentalus can can show his or her ass appear again. So, yeah. Once you've gotten enough tentacles cut off, he, she, it will show up again, and you have to shoot its arrow. Shoot its eye. Of course! Because, obviously, as with any Zelda boss with arrows, you always have to shoot the eye. Bang! Haha! <laughs> and then... And then, strike the arrow, strike the face, strike the face, strike the face, oh yeah! Oh man! Man. That boss, man. This boss. It's just really fun. This boss is really fun to do, despite it being really easy. Anyway, now you basically have to do your same song and dance again with the tentacles. But don't let them grab you. If you allow them to grab you, you have to shake, you have to shake yourself free with the rear mode nunchuck. If you allow the tentacles to throw you off the ship, then... Uh, oh, oh, see, like that, like that, right there! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Yes! Okay. So basically, if you allow the tentacles to throw you off the ship, you have to begin that phase of the fight, the current phase of the fight you're on, over again. And that wouldn't be a good thing for you at all, would it? In fact, it would suck. It would suck, but... Anyway, booyah! Shoot the things, and then... And then wait for him to appear on the right side of the ship, actually. Okay. Alright. Now he's gonna put it with his right arm, and then you go to die. Oh, and by the way, to make your life easier, well, to make this boss kinda easier, try cutting off the hair. Try cutting off uh, Tentalus's hair. And trust me, it'll be a lot easier for you later in the fight. Alright, dude. I know you're out there. I know those tentacles are waiting. Just waiting to be sliced off. Like some... Calamari, I don't know. I don't know. Again, just do your same song and dance, except... Except this time there will be a lot more tentacles, and... Now the tentacles will be, like, really outside the ship. By the way, how is it raining in the desert, anyway? I mean, I know that's really rare in the real world, but... Seriously, this does not make any sense. Then again, when have I ever questioned anything in Nintendo? I mean... I mean, uh... Basically, we have PETA attacking Pokémon now for quote-unquote abuse. And then we have... But first, there was that whole fiasco with the Mario Tanuki suit PETA thing that they did. And that was just wrong, I tell you. It was just wrong. Considering that they didn't do their research and everything. Anywho, now onward to the second phase of the fight. Now, Tentalus will try to throw you off, will try to smack you off the ship, and where did those barrels come from, anyway? Seriously. That doesn't make any logical sense whatsoever. Maybe the barrels appeared because Tentalus has magic or something. Anyway, remember what I said about cutting, trying to cut off the hair? Well, 
The hair will try to come to you and try to kill you, and you have to swing your sword around like that. Actually, I'll show it off right there, right here. So, basically put, try to cut off Tentalus' hair during the first phase of the fight, because that will happen. Yeah, see? This boss really does remind you of Celia from Monster Zig now, does it? Hey, dude, I'm trying to kill you. I'm trying to kill you, stupid hair! I'm trying to give you splint! Come on, come on, come on, do it! Do it, yeah! Alright, so now, recenter, and... Dude! Recenter the... Freaking... The... The you! Ow. Great, now my controls are off-center. Thanks a lot, B. Thanks a bunch. Okay. Just swing your sword around like a maniac, and then you'll eventually... Like... Do... Yeah! <laughs> Controls, you did not screw me up. Die, 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 you suck! And thus, Celia will be missed forever. Until the sequel, which will come out in, uh, 2013. Yeah, speaking of that, I'm actually kind of looking forward to uh, Monsters University. I don't know about you guys, but I am pretty excited for it. I guess. The trailers were funny. So long as it's funny, that's all that matters. Anywho. Now we got a hot container! And all of a sudden, it cleared up. That's kind of weird, guys. No explanation? Oh, and by the way, I'd just like to take this moment to look out at the Sand Sea. So beautiful that the ship is all wrecked. So beautiful that the Wii's graphics can handle such nonsense. Actually, no, it's not nonsense. It's brilliant nonsense. And I don't know if you can look out in the distance, but you can see the pirate stronghold in Skipper's Retreat somehow. But anyway, time for Skyward Strike, and time for another Sacred Flame. Flames of Nehru have transformed your blade, expanding Fi's powers. She can now help you use your dowsing ability to create more spaces. Yeah. Let's just say Wizard did it. With your sword now enhanced, you can learn a new melody. I recommend you return to the Isle of Songs. What? No, 
No speech about how your sword is powered up. No anything. Okay, that's fair. Whatever. Thank you for getting me, sh me my ship back, Vroom. It may have been half wrecked, but my crew and I got it, got it shaped up to almost proper working order in no time. What? How can they do that in the span of a second? I wish you good luck in finding whoever it is you're looking for, Fweep. Come visit again. You're welcome any time, Fweep. Whatever. Anyway, about that ability we got from the Sacred Flame. It's technically not the best upgrade we got, but it allows us to douse for more objects now, so we can now douse for just more than objects, which we will see later on. But unfortunately, now we have to say goodbye to the Linnaeu Sand Sea. So sad, really. I just love this area. Again, I really, really love this area, and I wish there was a lot more we could do here. Again, we saw how Skipper was still looking for his crew. Again, you really got a feel for the dude. How he's stuck in the future and stuff, and now that we have him back, our purpose here is complete. Yeah, it really does make me feel sad that we have to leave here. Because this, again, one of my favorite areas. <sighs> so now we have to stop this episode here. So, next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, we are going to go back to Skyloft to see if we can help out more people in need. On Skyloft. And we're going to give a certain someone a visit at night. So... I shall see you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye, Lene Rusansi. You will be missed.